Hi, internet tutor here once again. Um, just thought we'd show you around a um, uh, couple of my offices that we use here. Um, somebody said on one of the uh, replies or comments on the video or something, I can't remember what it was, you know, why do you always film in your car? Well, because my office or my offices, um, I've got a few offices dotted around, but they're, uh, they're sort of, I'm not very organized really. People think that, you know, somebody making money on the internet would be very, very organized. I sort of know how to make lots of money, but I'm not very organised in other ways. Um, this is one of the offices where I can come and, and use. So we've got we've just this is as it is stuff everywhere, all over the uh, all over the desk. What we do is sometimes we just run up my laptop just there. Um, we've got a really old computer set up in here. <laughs> and I'm laughing like <laughs> just an old monitor and that, you know. So uh, anyway, this is one of the offices, as you can see. There's sort of things everywhere because basically these are always little projects that are going on and, uh, and then basically they just sort of get left on the desk as you can see this is uh we've got bits and pieces everywhere we've got routers and modems and other things where we've been setting up networks and so on what i was thinking about doing actually with this office is a bit of a waste really i'm wasting it because i i do tend to do a hell of a lot of stuff out of my car but you know um Maybe some other people could sort of post some comments and tell me what I should do with this place or sort of tidy it up a bit, maybe. But what I was thinking of doing is maybe putting a great big whiteboard on this wall here. Because I saw uh, John Reese's uh, pictures of um, his kind of uh, room where he sort of, um, with other people, sort of bashes out ideas or, or comes up with new plans or whatever, and he draws them all out on a whiteboard. Um, well, no, basically, actually saying that, his, his whole room is a whiteboard, if you understand what I mean. So what he's done is he's made all of his uh, walls that you can write on, basically. We can't do that in here at the moment, but we could put a great big whiteboard on here. That's what I was thinking. So this is, this is, this is, the, uh, this is where I sit here. So this is the, the, uh, <laughs> the chair. Oh. And then basically... Um, this is this is the office. Okay, good in it. <laughs> Got another office, another room we can use next door. So uh well, no one can sit down here. So we've got another another room we can use in here. And this is sort of like a uh this is basically like an office. Um we use this as another office. It's just a place where we can come and do some bits and pieces. Um it's all set up as an office. Uh, got a slightly better machine in here uh, with a flat screen, a newer machine. It's just an old machine in the other room there. Like I say, we tend to do a lot of a lot of stuff on my laptop, and we tend to sort of just, you know, um, this is just a base to come if it's pouring down with rain or freezing cold, or whatever. Then we'll come to the office. Um, so it's just just the two rooms basically. So we've got the office in here, and, uh, and it all goes on in here as well if it's a late one we can bed down and that's the idea that's all you need really and um and then basically we've got a uh, the bathroom so uh, not too bad so yeah this is one of the places that we can use like i say we've got several places we can use i've got another office um back at a, a house but this is this is just a place where we can uh, basically it's quiet here and we can just get on with projects um, and just just you know just do whatever um, I think it's sometimes important to sort of get a place away from from everything else you know and this is what this is but uh, anyway that's a little tour of the office like I say this this main room here what I really thought about doing really is sort of like having like um Maybe a big table here with chairs around it and then battle out ideas and so on. But I'm mostly here on my own. But like I say, a big whiteboard on here, the biggest whiteboard we can get, I think we're going to put up on the wall there. That would be a good idea. Yeah, that is a good idea. Okay. Um, while we're here, we'll just show you some um, some stats or some bits and pieces while we've got this machine on. So I know people like to see, see sort of certain proof or, you know, that you are making it on the net or whatever. So we'll do that. We'll just, uh, okay. Okay, just a quick look at some stats here. This is um, Dating Central, which is uh, an affiliate. Um, I'm an affiliate to Dating Central. I can't think properly. Right, I just want to show you, these are free registrations. These are people that have signed up for Dating Central that um, 
I just want to show you some, some good months. There are people that are doing way more than this, by the way, but there are people doing a lot less. But I just thought I'd show you that I've been doing this right. What we've got here, we're just having a look at um, the previous 12 months free registrations. What happens, people sign up for free, and then and then what happens is is uh, if they like the service or they get enticed into paying, and then I get you know commission or whatever, and you get uh, ongoing, recurring. Right, just having a look here. Just having a look here, I don't know if you can see this or not, because this camera is not very good at this kind of thing. Right, so we're looking at December 2007. January 2008 was a good month, so we'll just show you that. We'd like to show good months here. January 2008, we've got 3,673 people. Yeah? Or, well, 3,673 um, free sign-ups. Now, let's just take a look at those. I know we should be using Camtasia or something, but I wanted to show you a couple of good days here. Um, yeah, so right, this is daily. Now you can see things fluctuate. I obviously did something on these days to get these. Right, so if we look at the first of January, you had 86 people, 86 people sign up. Second of January, 87. But then look at this. Third of January, we had 350 people. I like that. You see. So I've got a better day down there, look, 376 on the 6th of January 2008, with 376 people so on the 6th of January. Let's have a look at that. Alright, let's just have a look here. Um, what I really like about this is that you can you can see when they signed up. I'm trying to look for this camera at the same time, it's really awkward. And you can see, let me just find... So like here, we've had two in the same minute, 23, 48 and 10 seconds, and then 23, 48 and 37 seconds. It just goes on and on from there, but I'm just gonna find that here, we've had like one, two, three in the same minute. We had 11, 23, 35 and 10 seconds, and then 23, 35 and 18 seconds. So 80, eight seconds later, someone else signed up. Yeah, and these are from different places like this. This guy was in Yorkshire, another guy in Yorkshire, then Lincolnshire, then Midlands, then London. So uh, you've got people signing up, you know, constantly. I'm gonna find another wave. Uh, this is good traffic. So we're getting people. We're getting three three people a, a minute sign up. Uh, and that's good traffic. That means I'm obviously sending a lot of traffic over in January, which I was. But yeah, so I thought I'd just show you that. So that's free sign up. So that isn't how much money I made. And we can show you the amount of money if you really want to see that. But yes, I just wanted to show you that I can that I can generate traffic, and I know how to generate traffic. Okay, we're gonna have some more videos about generating traffic. But 370, 380 people in a day signing up. I mean, you do the maths. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you know a percentage of those will convert to paying. Yeah. Um, don't know if to give out totally all my income yet about details. But that, I just wanted to show you that we do get traffic. Anyway, so that's been a quick, quick interview. We're going to do another video very quickly soon, um, probably later on today or tomorrow, because I know you, all you guys want tips. Um, but, you know, one tip is, is it's nice to have a nice little office where you can have a bed down, you can do some work, make some money, have a drink. We've even got drinks here. In the little fridge here. Yeah, you've got to make it comfortable. What have you got? We've got Tesco Orange and Lilt Zero. Well, hey, come on round for a party, eh? Right, Internet Tutor uh, signing out. And uh, we'll see you again soon, yeah? Oh, yeah, if you're wondering what camera I use, it is the Flip. Okay, that's why I can't really zoom in that well. They don't, they don't zoom in that well. The flip cameras, but they are good. Um, I don't think you can get them in the UK. I got this um, in Walmart um, in Florida. But I got a place in Florida, you see. So when I was over there, I picked up this camera. Very good, very handy. Straight onto YouTube. I've got a Sony um, Mini DV camera, which is really good at zooming in and stuff because it's got a really good lens on it. But we tend to use this one out and about because it's just so simple. Anyway, Internet Tutor, another video very soon.